All right, good day. Welcome everybody to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the sign of Virgo. General reading for the sign of Virgo for the end of January, but it whenever you stumble upon this reading, my readings are timeless. All right, so it's the strongest energy that I'm picking up in the collective for the Virgos. So let's see what comes out here. I wasn't, you know, it's like I noticed I started getting subscribers. And it's like I don't know what to feel about that. So I kind of went to this one tarot reader because I don't read tarot for myself. And man, was her reading so on point. And it's like, I'm not going to get into that, but shout out to the groupies that like to come to us tarot readers. I mean, the dedication is unbelievable. <laughs> so let's get for the Virgos. This is about you, Virgos. All right. Let's see what we have coming out for the Virgos. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share, all right? Helps get the video out there for those that it may be for. We should be working together as a collective, not against, all right? It's all about growth, literally. It's literally all about growing as a person. Some people just don't grow. All right, let's see what we have for the Virgos. Give me for the Virgos, please. Virgos, you aren't talking much. Woofda, are you hiding your true feelings? Because you really like somebody here. You might be reminiscing, learning from the past. Let's see if we can get one more out here. Someone likes you. Someone's hiding their true feelings because it's saying, I like you. Someone likes you. Somebody wants to date you. But they're hiding their feelings. They might even be, you know, hiding who they really are as a person. They could be doing a lot of pretending. We got the girl with the snake, the empath, the narcissist. So Virgos, I'm guessing you're the you're the empath here. So somebody is interested in wanting to talk more. You could be waiting on a message also, Virgo from somebody that's kind of hiding who they are, their feelings, but they really do like you, all right? I don't know what is going on with this girl with the snake, if there's a narcissist talking about you, Virgo. Or maybe this person likes to kind of gaslight you. Maybe, maybe they're hiding their true personality because they're really a fucking narcissist. And they're trying to charm and use you. Acceptance. When somebody accepts themselves for who they are, somebody needs to do that. Or you need to maybe accept them for who they are and either enable it or set boundaries. Jesus. All right, so somebody is very focused on you. I, I'm getting a very dark and light energy here. It's that empath narcissist. What the fuck? The void? And underneath that is the wisdom. I mean, we have got some weird shit going on here. So obviously, I'm guessing the dark person. This is the empath and the narcissist. This is the empath, pure. All right, very pure and beautiful and full of beautiful light and energy and then we've got here the darkness the narcissist all right that's fueled literally by darkness because we've got here the empaths the narcissist the, the girl with the snake so i don't know if you're if you've got like another female around you because i know females watch tarot more um i don't know if you got another female around you that is gaslighting I don't know what the fuck we got going on here but somebody is very focused on how much they like you you're a very beautiful person I feel very very beautiful Virgo and that is like your element here with the greens and the flowers and the butterflies and yeah 
All right. So we've got a very, very dark energy and a very light, beautiful energy. Somebody's got a hunger. All right, let's get one more out here. We've got the creation. All right. So you're creating things that are, so you're creating a life, I feel, that is like nourishing your soul, that is nourishing your life in general. All right, let's see what we've got for the Virgos here. What do we have for the Virgos? Somebody's hiding who they really are. So I don't know who you're dealing with. If if this is, it could be two females. It could be a female with a male. It could be a male with a female. I don't know. Because the one thing with tarot, like I said, more females tend to watch it than males. But And we do have a lot of same-sex uh, relationship situations out there. So look at how it fits here. If somebody, I don't know. This person that wants to date you. Yeah, it's somebody I feel that is working on maybe some type of... Um, yeah, somebody is working on this. All right. The Five of Pentacles is sometimes somebody that has like mental health issues. But I feel like they're working on their insecurities here. Working on, you know, feeling secure enough to express their true feelings to somebody that they really have, obviously, a love for. And then we have the emperor here. So, yeah, somebody really likes you. But when you're dealing with somebody who's like the emperor, he can be kind of arrogant and kind of stone-faced. All right, so he might not be really, ex you know, showing things. All right. Let's get for the I like you. Wow, we got the chariot with the ace of cups here. Yeah, somebody really does like you. It's like their emotions are overpouring. And that's why they're working on their insecurities and being efficient there because, yeah. Or they might be just working very hard at hiding their insecurities too. But with the acceptance card, it makes me feel like somebody's realizing that, you know, what their insecurities is stopping them from what it is that they want here. We have the ace. Yeah, they got clarity on how much they like you. A lot of clarity. And they're really, really focused on this. But they're juggling back and forth here with decisions. We've got the temperance. You could be dealing with the temperance. Yeah, somebody here is juggling back and forth. Could be between... Uh, Sagittarius and a Gemini, but they're making a decision here. Well, and we got Taurin here. We saw the Emperor and the Empress. You're being charmed or used, or either that or you're enabling or you're setting boundaries. We have the Five of Wands here. All right, there's a lot of conflict here, a lot of tension. There's a lot of battles around you, Virgo. Could be a narcissist around you. It may not even be your person. It could be somebody that is going back and forth here because maybe they're seeing that you just have a lot of conflict around you. Yeah, as a spiritual guru, as somebody who is like a star student, a star person, a star seed, you get a lot of narcissists that surround you. You're an empath. And that could have led to this separation here. Um, somebody wasn't remaining optimistic. So Virgos, yeah, we have the narcissist card here. Two fives here. So somebody I feel like might have walked away because there's just so much group conflict around you. A lot of battles. 
but not all is last lost it's like you're gonna have the upper hand in this virgo when it's all said and done all right you could be coming together collaborating with this person let's get an outcome here for the virgos let's get an outcome for the virgos we keep seeing that star card all right remain hopeful remain optimistic here all right brightness is on the way all right but don't be too greedy we got the devil there's a lot of jealousy around you virgo there's something that you need to release here yeah you need to go in and find search for that inner truth that inner guidance take that leap of faith here but you need to unchain yourself from a narcissist that creates group conflicts yeah it's time to make some big ass changes here all right it's time to make a a quick decision yeah the empress here all right that's what you need to do all right there's some delays here but you're going to get your wishes granted you're going to be fulfilled here all right um you could just be this narcissist could deal with sickness mental illness bed illness and there it's a very wounded energy but um yeah you got a very toxic energy surrounding you so that could be some of this but like i said your abundance and prosperity is going to be on the way you just need to unchain yourself from this fucking narcissist all right, so I'm going to leave that there. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.